A European Union's representative in Palestine says Israeli settlers are, in his words, terrorizing Palestinian civilians. Sven Kuhn von Bergsdorf is touring a village that was recently attacked, one of several targeted since the killing of four Israelis on Tuesday. According to the accounts we have received from numerous sources, indeed, a group of settlers, many, many settlers came here. I would call them terrorist settlers because they spread terror in the vicinity and in the neighborhood here by shooting with live rounds and fire at Palestinians, wounding 12 people, killing Omar Jabala, and also setting several houses and cars on fire. Luckily, not many more were actually injured and only nobody was killed apart from Omar, who, as I said, tried to save the lives of those injured. A more Israeli condemnation has come from the UN's human rights chief. Volker Turk says Israel's occupation is the root cause of the violence and is warning that the situation risks spiraling out of control. The Israeli government has approved further expansion of illegal settlements. Pledging additional support for settlements, Security Minister Itamar ben Gavir is urging what he calls a large-scale military operation. Well, we have two uh, teams covering these developments. Imran Khan is standing by in occupied East Jerusalem. But first, let's cross to alive now to Harry Fawcett, who's in Ramallah for us. And Harry, what are the likely consequences then of these kind of remarks for Palestinians on the ground? Well, these were very strong remarks coming from the EU representative, but it was an extremely large-scale attack uh, on this village on Wednesday. And the complaint from Palestinians over many years has been that the international community should do more than, than speak in, in very uh, strong terms, that it needs to take more action. And I'm sure that some will be uh, feeling that way again after this. However, I suppose the best that could be hoped for would be some kind of, of influence behind the scenes, some kind of pressure put on the Israeli government. Certainly there has been condemnation uh, from some on the Israeli side as well uh, about this, not, not least from the Israeli army, uh, of the act actions of the settlers on Wednesday. But it's only one of many such attacks. It's the most... Uh, it's, it's the largest scale that we've seen in recent days, but there have been a mushrooming of these sorts of attacks since the, uh, the shooting attack by Palestinians on uh, settlers on Tuesday afternoon in which four settlers were killed. And what are, what's also been clear uh, and has been um, reported by, by locals in this incident and others, uh, that as far as they're concerned, the Israeli army does not come in to intervene or protect them. In fact, the, the person who was killed in Tumur Sayyid on Wednesday, locals say he was shot by an Israeli soldier, not by uh, one of the armed settlers. So uh, there is a huge amount of tension. There's been a lot of violence already this year. It's been accelerating again in recent days, and I don't think many here expect it to tail off anytime soon. Harry Fawcett, thank you for that. Well, Imran Khan is in occupied East Jerusalem for us now. And Imran, an unapologetic response from Israel's far-right dominated coalition. That's absolutely right. Etamar ben Gavir was actually touring uh, the Avatar illegal settlement. Now, all settlements are actually illegal under is uh, international law, but this one's actually illegal under Israeli law. And that's where he said uh, that there needed to be a large-scale operation in the West Bank. More settlements needed to be built, and tens of thousands of what he calls terrorists needed to be uh, killed. Now, he's been using language like that for many, many years. But right now... He is the national security minister. He's in charge of the police. So his statements now carry some weight, but they're also controversial within Israel itself. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu convened a, a security consultation meeting with all of the relevant parties, the army, the intelligence services, etc., after uh, the events uh, in uh, Janin. Um, and what he discussed uh, there actually was something that Ben Gavir wasn't actually invited to, despite the fact that he is the national security minister. Now, leaks from that meeting suggested that the reason he wasn't invited is, uh, and according to one source, the words were, he's a barking dog without any bite, and he is causing more trouble uh, than, frankly, he's worth. And that's something uh, that we don't really hear 
from Israeli politicians when they're criticizing other Israeli politicians, but clearly Ben Gavir is a very controversial figure. So although he has been saying things like this for many years, the words do carry some weight now, but the army isn't really interested in a large-scale operation in the West Bank, and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, is a man who tends to listen to his generals. Imran Khan, live for us in occupied East Jerusalem. Thank you.